Okay, here we have a Sub-Zero refrigerator, model 211 RFD. It used to be a vertical unit, an over and under, and we converted it to an under-the-counter refrigerator for a loft apartment. And I'll show you just exactly how we did that. Uh, everything is original. We tried to use as many parts from the original refrigerator as we could, with the exception of this uh, frame that we fabricated to hold the compressor and the condenser coil and the fan motor. I'll give you a little closer look. You can see what we did here. We made this bracket from 1.8 aluminum stock and um, fabricated this shield to direct the air current in through the bottom and then out over the top and out the back. And uh, let's give you a better look at that. You can see, looking at it from the top down, it's a pretty tight fit. Um, and, um, but it works. I'll give you a better view from this side. You can see the condenser fan motor in there. That fan bracket that's holding that condenser motor is not original. It comes from a, a 600 series Sub-Zero. And, um, as you can see, we rerouted the wiring in the back and I left the cover off so you could see that uh, some of the work that we did here, plugging holes and you know, um, tidy this thing up and uh, send it on its way. Here is the, here's the drain for the freezer and the ice maker water line. The heater loop, which is mounted here. This is the bottom of the, originally the bottom of the refrigerator. The heater loop now comes down, goes through the heater loop, which is underneath the freezer, and it comes back up and goes back into the compressor area and does its job. Now, I left this cover off so you could see, but the grill will mount right in front of that. And um, here's how we mounted the hinges. We um, basically put um, blind nuts uh, in this cabinet here to support the, the bolts to hold the hinge. And as you can see, everything is original. Down on the bottom of the refrigerator door, we had to uh, install a door closing mechanism because the original refrigerator only came with a door closer on the freezer door. And as you can see, the doors have been wrapped with carbon fiber material to save weight. These are the original door handles, which were mounted on the sides. And as you can see, we had to, we had to re-drill and also use blind nuts to mount those handles onto the door. This is the freezer section. It's not quite complete yet. We still have to mount some shelves in there, but we uh, managed to uh, mount the ice maker assembly underneath the evaporator coil like so, and it hides all the wiring and the piping in the back. Originally, this was the ceiling right here, so we flipped the evaporator, and then we mounted the light socket and also the defrost timer on the right side so to gain access to it and the doors the door panels originally the inside door panels were made of plastic and held shelves and we decided that uh, to keep the door light um, we would just use a piece of aluminum sheet metal and um, it kind of worked out nicely for us the refrigerator section is similar with the aluminum panel on the door. We installed three crisper drawers after taking off all that dated brown and gold trim. We did have room for a fourth drawer, but we decided not to uh, install it. We'll just put a shelf on there for the time being. Um, we fabricated this wall uh, to hold the supports for the drawer assemblies 
And um, right now we only have one shelf in there, but that is the original shelf. And as you can see, we use the original shelf ladders and here is the fan and the original switches, which are for the light. And that's, that was the fan. And that's basically it. This particular unit is being installed in a loft apartment. And in a loft apartment, there's plenty of room for a big door like that. But if there were, if this was installed in a regular kitchen, I think that large door would become a problem. So we thought about converting it, and cutting it in half, and making it into a three door refrigerator, but we didn't want to um, jeopardize the integrity of the cabinet. It would have required a lot more work. So originally this was the bottom of the refrigerator and you can see those two copper lines there are for the heater loop which goes underneath which is mounted underneath the freezer and um, provides the uh, heat to um, dry out the uh, condensate tank to evaporate it. Here's another shot of the hinge, hinge assembly right there. You can see we try to follow the original design and style of the manufacturer. And that's basically it. It's, uh, we're going to have a cabinet built around it uh, with a nice wood countertop and the sides will conceal all the, the metalwork. And um, there's the original grill right there, which we will use and mount once we put that cover back on. Okay, that's about it. Thanks for watching.